Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We are currently in Newcastle. And today I thought I'd give you guys a rundown of what a day of my life looks like as a fitness influencer slash content creator up here in Australia. So today we'll be going through a full day of eating. We're currently 42 weeks out of our first competition. We're in a bit of a maintenance slash bulking phase. So moving forward, there's gonna be a lot of content around that. We'll be training push today. So I'll take you guys through a push session as well, or maybe just throw some montage and clips or do a voiceover. And just to kind of give you guys a general idea of the workflow behind content production, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of work and a lot of planning that goes behind each Instagram post. Um, there's people that manage, you know, social media for me. You got video editors, you know, sorting all the videos out. So there's a lot of production behind it that people don't see or really talk about. I also get heaps of questions about my hair, my skincare routine. So I'll be digging into that today as well. So I usually wake up around 5.30, 6.30 in the morning, just depending on how much work I had the day before. And the first thing I'd like to do is hop on my computer and go straight into work, you know, contact staff, respond to client messages because I do have clients, you know, up in America, in Spain, in Europe. So I do my very best to make sure I just respond to them as soon as I can. And then from from there we have meal one at around 9 30. all right so we're just about to do our check-ins with the coach i woke up a lot drier and lighter today which is very interesting based on the data that we gathered over the week i'm going to assume we're gonna ramp up the food we're currently eating 3,400 calories so i'm gonna guess we're gonna probably go up to around 3,800 to 4,000 for the next couple weeks so I woke up starving today, which has been interesting. Shoulders looking a lot rounder. Overall, the shape's looking a lot better. Power on the beat. So right now, my weakest points are probably my back and my hamstrings, which we're trying to bring up. Delts are looking good, chest is looking good, but yeah, we just need to get wider and get the legs thicker. We're hitting legs twice a week and back twice a week as well. So over the next couple of weeks, I think we're gonna be doing 20 weeks of bulking, so 20 weeks of growing. So first competition, we'll see how we go. I'm so hungry. I'm starving. How, how do you feel? I'm nervous. Looking at yourself, do you feel like you made improvement or? Yeah, but also it's different. Um... Yeah, so it's a bit, so of, yeah, it's it's a bit hard. hard to That's true. tell. But I think once I have a few more, yeah, yeah. then I can start to prepare. Do you want some? No, no, okay. Yeah, like I have gone down. Good. Well, we've got 15 more weeks to go. I got 42, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to eat that all now? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So right now we're doing some client work. So usually for about four hours from 5.30 to around nine, I just pump work, edit TikToks, do clients, do check-ins. Just get as much work as I can done. Usually what I would do is just have breakfast and then go back into work for another three hours and then have meal number two, work for another three hours and then have meal number three and then work for two more hours and then meal number four and then I go to the gym. And then I repeat that every single day. It's an exciting life. <laughs> It's fucking stressful, man. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> All right, it's currently 9.15 a.m. We're gonna have breakfast very soon, but just before we have our first meal, we're gonna shoot some content for a sponsor. Shout out to Gym Bros. Partnered up with them recently. Uh, they sent out a bunch of their products. Essentially, Gym Bros is an NFT project. I like what they're trying to create, especially in the fitness industry down here in Australia. They're really trying to build a community, which is what I'm all about. So, you know, they reached out and I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, dude, let's do it. Let's work together. Let's try to put Australia on the map. Queensland based. I'm currently wearing the Aqua track set or blue Polkis track set. I don't know what color you'd call this, but super comfortable, really, really high quality, super thick as well. So amazing for winter. Um, and for summer, you have them in shorts and an oversized tee as well. So hectic pump cover and really good material. I am hungry, man. I'm actually starving. I feel bad. Do you want to eat? We're gonna have meal number one. We're gonna have eggs, toast, mushrooms, and zucchini. Probably around 700 calories. Ever since I stopped cracking my eggs, I know it's not as fresh, but egg whites are fucking egg whites. So much more convenient, so much easier to clean, and actually tastes pretty good. 200 mils of egg whites. We're gonna use a bit of olive oil cooking spray. Two whole eggs, 100 grams of mushrooms, 100 grams of zucchini, and around three slices of bread. So that's around 600-ish calories. Usually when I'm dieting, I would probably just have egg whites, honestly, and it's around 200 calories. But we're living life right now, eating a fuck ton of carbs. Carbs are your best friend. Oh shit, went a little bit over, 226, that's right. A little bit more protein. Two whole eggs, off to a great start. It's a quick update, everything's gone to absolute shits. My egg whites were expired because I left it out. I was trying to defrost it, but I left it out for too long. I've burnt my vegetables. It smells fucking disgusting. Look at that. I don't usually fuck it up. 
I don't know why, I'm just, I'm really hungry. Everything's just not going well, and it's a bit of a mess, but we'll make it work. 9.53, I'm gonna have breakfast. I'm full. <laughs> it is currently 9.54, just about to have meal one, and we're looking at 44 grams of protein, 59 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of fat. Now, I completely butchered this. I don't really give a fuck. I'm hungry. I just wanna eat. Alright, it is currently 1.15. We are about to have our second meal. Sometimes I have chicken and rice. Sometimes I swap it out with oats, just depending on how I feel. Leading up to the comp, I would, you know, use a little bit less variation and try to just program myself psychologically, trying to eat the same shit over and over again. So what that does is it reduces fluctuation. Yes, a carb is a carb, protein is protein, fat is fat, but sometimes your body reacts differently to different food products. I do find that with oats, it does hold on a little bit of water for me and bloats me up, but it tastes fucking good. So, and we're still 42 weeks out, so I don't, I don't give a shit. Um, we got instant oats by Red Tractor. Shit absolutely slaps. Mixing it with casein whey protein, s'mores flavor. Shout out to Coach Greg for sending this out. If you guys wanna get a discount, use the code Mendoza. Link is also in the bio. Honestly, one of the best tasting protein powders I've had, and I'm not just saying that because I'm sponsored. Multiple companies have reached out to me after Greg while I was with him, and I decided not to go forth with it just because I really enjoy the products. I fuck with Greg. I like how he lets me say whatever the fuck I wanna say, however I wanna say it. If it tastes like shit, he won't care if I said it tastes like shit, I'll just be honest. This has 26 grams of protein. It's a mixture of casein and whey, so slow and fast acting. Has xanthan gum. So the cool thing about that is that when you mix it, it's really good for cooking and it makes things really thick. So when you mix it in a bowl, it kind of almost becomes like a custard texture. It tastes really, really good. Holy shit, I fucked it already. <laughs> it's become like a pancake thing. So right now we're just mixing some oats. <laughs> what? It smells so good. Do you want to make a little tablespoon? Um, I'll give you a little bit, just, but I don't want to fuck with your diet. We also have a sugar-free sweetener. <laughs> it's unflavored which is interesting because it's a sweetener. It makes it sweet. I guess it doesn't really have a flavor. It tastes good. 2,000 servings per container. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. It's really strong, so you, you don't really want to put too much on it. Like this is, this is the size of the scoop. It's tiny. A tiny scoop, dump that bad boy in there. I can literally taste it from here. Mix it up. So I don't like, I actually like my oats to be quite thick. We are going to add a bit of strawberries. Just around 100 grams, just for flavor. That's 100 grams, oh shit. 100 grams, sweet. And I'll put the calories and macros on screen. Now you can add sugar-free maple syrup if you want, but that artificial sweetener is more than enough for me. I try not to use it too much. I've been using it heaps. So I'm trying to minimize the usage of like sugar-free stuff or artificial flavoring. And again, I just don't want to become reliant on flavor. I'm trying to build that. You know, I'm just trying to eat based on purpose, based on fuel. Just so when I do need to diet down, I can just eat the same shit over and over again and get away with it. So altogether, it is 526 calories. The oats is 381 calories. The strawberries is 25 and the protein powder is 120. It smells so good. You wanna taste? No. I mean, I don't want to force you. No. But if you wanted to give it a crack. Mm. Okay. Now <laughs> Just have a look a little bit. I mean, all you had was the strawberry. <laughs> you have the oats. <laughs> I like the creamy texture. Yeah. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Just spent the last couple of hours editing some TikToks, going through some footage, you know, responding to clients, some brands, getting, you know, just a bit of work done. We are taking a bit of a break. My brain is fried. Um, the last couple of weeks, ever since coming back from America, just been grinding. And it's very important to, you know, take a step back sometimes because it does negatively impact your thought process and your creativity. Especially if you're into content creation, it's very important to keep, you know, your mind fresh. It is now five o'clock. We're gonna have a pre-workout meal. We got rice flour. We're gonna turn it into cream of rice, mix it with another scoop of s'mores protein and 25 grams of peanut butter. And we'll also grab 200 grams of frozen strawberries. I just got my meal plan. It's been updated to 250 grams of blueberries. So blueberries are a little bit denser in calories, a little bit denser in carbs. We went from 3,400 to around 3,800, close to 600 grams of fucking carbs. So it's a lot of food. You know, the composition right now looks pretty good. And I guess, you know, I'm a little bit worried on how my physique will change. I, I hate, 
feeling bloated and watery. Right now, this is sustainable. I feel healthy, feel, you know, mobile. Bigger and heavier I get, you know, I'm five foot seven. We're aiming to be around 90 kilos, which is pretty heavy for my stature. To give you an idea, when I first started training, I was sitting at around 45 kilos. So I've already stacked on almost 40 kilos since then, which, which was in a span of seven years, but still, you know, it's a lot of weight. So I guess we'll see how it goes. And it sucks, because right now it's, you know, we're transitioning into summer in Australia, but you know, gotta look at the bigger picture. I've been bulking through summer for the last two years, whatever, who cares? So we're gonna cook it up. Um, I don't like to use a microwave for this one. I'm gonna pan cook it. When I first started making cream of rice, the biggest mistake I used to make was not putting enough water. So if I'm using 100 grams of rice flour, I'm probably gonna use to 500 grams of water or 500 to 600. Let it sit and stir it. You gotta keep mixing it to give that thickness and that volume. So we're gonna chuck in 120 grams of rice flour. And later we also do have a free meal. So like a cheat meal. Um, so we're gonna replace one of our last meals and total that meal to sit at around 1,200 calories. We're just gonna make homemade pizza. We don't really feel like eating out today. It looks like a lot of water. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've been trying to minimize it, but I'm just gonna add just a little bit. Again, I'm trying to bring down my tolerance and you know, try not to crave such sugary food and this doesn't help. Even though it's zero calories, it's more like the psychological effect that I don't like, you know, becoming reliant on flavor. Again, I'm just trying to make the make food systematic. So when you're dieting down, it makes cutting food out a lot easier. Now I kind of fucked up. I was supposed to mix the water and stuff in the pot. Otherwise you get like this sludge. I don't know if y'all can see that. If you don't feel like having rice flour, I mean, you can have chicken and rice, but it's a lot of rice to consume. And this meal alone is a little bit over hundred grams of carbs. I probably could have added a little bit more water, but that's all right. Now we're gonna chuck in some strawberries and some peanut butter, 25 grams of this. And then we got the 25% less fat as well, just because yeah, I fucking love peanut butter. So we can have a little bit more and then just chuck a bit more strawberries too. We have our pre-workout meal. This is meal number three. We're supposed to be a meal number four, but I got a little bit carried away editing. So we're a meal behind, that's fine. It looks like shit, but <laughs> it tastes pretty good. Not gonna lie. This meal is 790 calories, 118 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, and 43 grams of protein. I remember when I was dieting, I was having each meal less than 400 calories. So just fish, cauliflower, rice, just really low calorie stuff and trying to keep the volume up. So now what I'm trying to do is eat as little amount of volume so I don't feel full. And also when I diet down, I don't have to eat a lot of volume. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like re-standardize and just let your body adapt and get used to the whole process a little bit earlier. Mm. All right, we're about to head to the gym. It is currently 5.45 p.m. We're gonna make our pre-workout stack. Add a bit of water. So this is non-H beta alanine. 100 megs of caffeine per scoop. It's a little bit late. Don't really want it to affect my sleep. So one scoop of creatine. And then we're gonna do a double scoop of this pre-pump formula, Patriot Popsicle. It tastes okay. It's not my favorite flavor. It tastes all right. This one does have beta alanine. So if you guys don't know what that is, it, it gives you that tingly feeling. So you don't want to overdo it. So 1500 megs for one scoop and 3,000 megs for two scoops. So we just double scoop that. I want to have some caffeine, but I want to risk my sleep. It's just my sleep quality has been terrible recently, so I've been trying to work on that. Uh, sleep is very, very important. So we'll mix this bad boy up and then probably drink it on the way there. We're just going to go for a walk. It's only eight minutes. Get the body nice and warm and then get into it when we get to the gym. So as you can see from the background, it was pretty busy. I couldn't really bring out my camera. I don't like being an inconvenience, especially in commercial gyms. We were training around peak hours. So there was a lot of people there. We did a bit of push. Pump was amazing, hit some new PRs. Overall, the gym session was really, really good. I wish we were able to get more footage, but unfortunately, it was just way too busy. All right, we are back from training. Really, really good session. Came in feeling like shit, but dead ass, the double scoop of pump pre-workout was pretty good, not even gonna lie. Use my fucking code. <laughs> but while we were training, someone came up to me and handed me this box. Like, that was that was wild, man. Like, to me, that was crazy. I think his brand is called My Pre-Workout. Now, this isn't sponsored. He didn't ask me to do anything, but I just really appreciate that gesture. That was super nice. It was super respectful. He came up to me. He's like, you know, I'll speak to you after training, which is really nice because sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming when you're trying to train and there's people coming up asking to take photos and stuff. So that was really, really nice. I really appreciated that. So I thought I'd open this with you guys. Now we got two shakers and we got a whey protein cookies and cream flavor. And I think these are samples at the moment. So I'm keen to try that out. We'll give it a crack tomorrow. Yeah, shout out to that guy at the gym, man. Really appreciate that. So now we're just gonna make some pizza, kick back, and just enjoy the evening. Are you trying to say 
something. That's 50 grams of cheese. Wow. Bro, what the hell is this? Is that all you're putting on? 50 grams? Yeah. What else are you eating tonight? You tell me not to stress out, but then I see you stressing <laughs> out. And I'm like, if you look like that and you're stressing out, then I should definitely be stressing out. What is even the point of friggin' putting cheese on if it's like 40 grams? I might as well not even eat it. So the pizza's in the oven, just had a quick shower, and I thought I'd show you guys my current skincare routine. I've been using Tomorrow Skincare, shout out to them for helping me keep my skin nice, clear, and healthy. It's a four-step health skin system designed specifically for men, made in Australia. It eliminates poor skin hygiene to prevent and reduce acne. My face used to have heaps of breakouts because of the buildup of sweat and dirt at the gym. I was in the lookout for a new skincare routine a little bit earlier this year, and Tomorrow Skincare actually reached out. I ended up meeting with the owners at Melbourne, and they're actually super nice, super genuine. It smells great, it's super easy to use. You guys Gab, Loose, and Prime Train on board as well. They absolutely love the product. If you want to give it a shot, use code Mendoza. It gives you 20% off your first order. So we're going to start off with the foam cleanser. I'm going to give it a bit of a shake. This is actually really nice, not going to lie. The stuff is pretty good. Then you got the liquid toner. The structure serum. And then finally you got the gel moisturizer. And that's pretty much it. Very quick, but very easy. Keeps your skin nice and clean, smells really good, and super simple to use. Alright, it's so the final meal of the day, and I'm gonna wrap it up there. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Um, if you all wanna see more of this, let me know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Until, until the next video.